Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and welcome to my report on one of my favorite aspects, Venus trine Uranus. We're going to talk about the timeline. It's happening right now. We're going to talk about the planets at play, their energetics, what you can expect from their combination. You can make the most of this time and what things you might see. All right, so I'm going to post the picture here on YouTube. I'll draw on it. For my friends who are listening on podcasts, I'll put the thumbnail as the picture that I have showed the trine. So if you want the visual on that, then you can see it as well. All right. So first, very important thing to talk about is the timeline. This aspect officially occurs on February 7th, 2024. But very rarely does an aspect just influence for just one day. And when we're talking about Venus and Uranus, I'd say give it at least five days, could be more on either end. So February 2nd, through February 12th, very safe manifestation timeline. Hopefully it will spread out a little bit in either direction because it is a juicy one. All right, so we're looking at a trine, the most favorable aspect in all of astrology. This is an earth trine. See these signs here? They're green. Those are representing the earth energy, material gains, tangible effects, uh, very notable outcomes that you can really, really see and experience on the material plane. All right, so Venus rules love, beauty, finance, money, relationships, aesthetics, self-esteem, nurturing, and Uranus rules innovation, excitement, things coming out of the blue, unique ways of doing things. There are other ways these energies can manifest, especially if they were not in a nice angle. We could use some other words that would be indicative of what you might see, but since this is a nice aspect, they lean towards their positive expression. Okay, so innovation, but at the same time, stability. So adding innovation to something that you have stable, adding something new, a breath of fresh air. So let's say we're talking about relationship. Then you could have new exciting things come into your relationship where you and your partner are falling in love with each other again, or you're doing fun things and, you know, the life is breathed back into your relationships. This could be your stable job gives you a new opportunity or new people to work with that is, they're very refreshing and exciting. So just kind of think with this energetic, something stable, something grounded, at the same time as something new, something innovative. And these energies blending together in the best possible way. Financial opportunities can come for current or future stability. You can use money that you've made or or earned. That's the earth part. Um, And that's the Capricorn part too, right? Capricorn and Taurus. These are stable earth signs. And then the planet Uranus can come in and say, okay, now we've got this opportunity for you to do something interesting or do something exciting or have an opportunity. Something about a creative breakthrough can happen, a creative solution to something with your money problems or in your relationship space. And by the way, as I'm giving you all of these potential manifestations, do know that you can actively and probably should actively, I don't want to say you should, but we'll just say that you could actively Use these dates, February 2nd through the 12th, closer to the 7th, the more intense, to do important things. This is uh, one of the main um, bases of my work because timing things astrologically can help you to roll with the astrological rhythms and not against them. So if you've got to do something important, getting your life's work out there, bringing something new into your previous work, an engagement, a wedding, a trip something you've been wanting to do and you've been putting it off and now you're saying, now let's just go do it. The circumstances here, maybe it looks like you're going to get a tax return or something, you know, this is something, anything that you, that you are, that's born on this day, basically. So if you commit to something, that's the birth chart for that day. If you start something, if you initiate something, that's the birth chart for that project. So if you work in this beautiful aspect into your project, it will be there with it for the whole you know, time of the project. So it's very, very, very exciting. If you're looking for new love, almost can't beat this aspect. This is amazing. If you're dating, if you're wanting to date, if you want new people in your life from a romantic context, this is amazing. Great time to be out there circulating and it could turn into something longer term. 
anything to that has to do with like appreciating aesthetic and sensory experiences. I spent a lot of time in London, and when I was there very recently, there were two really cool sensory experiences that we did that involved basically focusing on your senses and how it feels to touch certain things or be in certain things or with music and mood and, you know, um, they're kind of like sensory pop-ups more or less. So, and they were really, really, really cool experiences. So you could seek out or it could come to you something like that. This energy can also have to do with strengthening relationship bonds and can have to do with authenticity. So Uranus energy tends to be very much itself. You know, this is how I am. This is what I do. Maybe it's weird. Maybe it's idiosyncratic, but this is how I am. So there's a chance for strengthening of your um, social bonds, whether they're romantic or friendships or any other social things. That can happen from this energy too. Back with the idea of innovation, this can refer to also to self-care and well-being because Venus can rule how we take care of ourselves and our self-nurturance. So that's an exciting thing that can happen. This can also be positive changes in your personal style and expression. If you're wanting to do something different with that, the stars are way open and they are moving forward. If you haven't already seen my Cosmic Green Lights um, video or po- listen to the podcast, I suggest that you subscribe to wherever you're listening to me from because I put out a lot of material and you'll be missing it if you don't have some way to get connected to it. So if you are subscribed to me on YouTube, make sure you click the bell. If you don't click the bell, I won't end up in your feed. Okay, so I have a lot of subscribers that say, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Well, if you're subscribed, you should be seeing me, but I think YouTube is doing something weird where if you're not if you're not clicking the bell, then you're not prioritizing, it's not prioritizing putting me in your feed. So you'll want to see this Cosmic Green Lights video because it's going to add to what I'm saying and add to the importance of using this time. Okay, something else that can manifest from this is balancing material comforts with progressive values. So again, just something stable and then something, you know, kind of like with the wedding stuff, something old, something new, you know, that's what we're looking at here. There's a grounding on which you are able to evolve and then there's a spark that's coming in that um, is infusing positive change. This can also have to do with collaborations that can come out of the blue. And they can be people that you know, and then all of a sudden they're in a context of like, oh wow, okay, I didn't know that you also were into this thing that I'm into and let's do some stuff together. So there are just there are endless ways that this can manifest. This is one of my favorite aspects. Anything that links Venus with an outer planet has just so much juiciness. We've got a nice long stretch of time where we can use this energy. We do actually have more than double the sweet aspects compared to salty ones in the month of February. That's something that I talk about um, in my February horoscopes. I'm going to put the playlist for the horoscopes on YouTube as the end screen for this so that you can find them. But you can equally you know, look for me on Spotify if you're doing the podcast. You can search for Annie Botticelli and look for my playlist. I'm finding that on the mobile view, it's a little bit difficult to navigate on my channel or people's channels. So I don't know what, what that's all about. But, um, but you can find my February playlist with horoscopes that are very detailed about this month for each sign. So you can do that to get more free info on um, what you can expect this month. If you want to have a written version of my write-up for the month, go to AnnieHelpsYou.com, join my free VIP community. Then when you get the welcome letter, click on the um, archives and look for February 2024 astrology and get a whole write-up about what to expect this month, including my favorite aspects, not just this one, I have more. So you can see that there. And it's very important to know that if you've ever wanted to take my astrology certification course, I am running a rare promo. Sometimes I run promos for my um, VIP crew, and they're the only ones that ever see those promos. But this one is available to the public. So if you go to beastropro.com, beastropro.com, you can see my crazy promo where you get $600 worth of other free courses that I've made when you register for my astrology certification course. So if you want to learn astrology to help your friends and family, or if you want to be a professional astrologer, I can teach you how to do that. So you can go to beastropro.com. Definitely subscribe to wherever you're hearing me so that you can not miss anything because I'm going to be busting out a bunch of stuff to come. I hope you have a wonderful February. Bye.